speech interaction is likely to play a significant role in vehicles. People want to use their hands-free sets for cell phones, while police officers who we work with at the University of New Hampshire use speech to control their in-car devices. State-of-the-art speech recognizers need push-to-talk buttons. We hypothesized that it is better to allow the driver to push buttons at multiple locations, for example on the steering wheel, rather than have one fixed location for the PTT. In order to test this hypothesis, we designed the wireless PTT glove. It has two switches built into it, one under the index finger and another one under the thumb. It has a radio frequency transmitter attached to it. In the next segment, you will see how it can be used in a driving simulator scenario. In our work with the police, we created the Project 54 system, which integrates devices in the police cruiser and lets the officer control them using speech. We use the glove as a push-to-talk button when issuing P54 commands to the system installed in the driving simulator. In our experiment, Project 54 speech commands were displayed on the simulator screen to prompt participants to issue them. Control screen. Control screen. Lights and siren. Lights and siren. Lights and siren off. Lights and siren off. We have encouraging results as described in the paper which allows us to further develop the wireless glove to be used, for example, by police officers even outside their vehicles in conjunction with their PTA devices. The wireless PTT could provide a continuous user interface in and outside the vehicle.